Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play DuckTales. In the last part we cleared the Amazon and the African mines and now we're moving on to the final level, the moon! How he got here, I'm never gonna be sure. And the moon has, was probably the most famous piece of music in the game, even more famous than the remix of the main theme of the series itself. And I gotta admit, it is kick-ass. It's in all the top ten lists, at least most of the ones I've seen for NES music, for a reason. And that's why I'm talking over it. Ha! <laughs> ah. Anyway, the moon is probably the hardest level in the game, purely because of just how many hazards there are. Down here on the actual surface, there's a crap load of bottomless pits, and... It doesn't help that you're actually gonna have to come through this area at least twice if you're doing what I'm doing. Also, what the hell are those squid things? Octorox? <laughs> Anyway, we need to get through this wall, but we need a remote control that we can actually only find in the spaceship that's here randomly. No, I just realized this could also be some sort of reference to Mighty Ducks. Ugh. That cartoon sucked. <laughs> Tim Curry aside, as I said last part, I believe. <laughs> anyway, the inside of the ship is Filled, and I mean filled with spikes. Mega Man would have so many nightmares here, it ain't even funny. And we also got these random aliens who don't really do much. Yet for some reason they remind me of Earl from Toe Jam and Earl. Hmm. I just realized that. That's kind of weird. I should actually play Toe Jam and Earl. Uh... Trouble on Funkatron, the second one was called, I believe, or was it Crisis? It's been forever since I played it, so I don't remember. <laughs> Though I need some sort of guide, because I... Well, I beat it at one point, I def did not get the best ending. <laughs> Are there multiple endings? I can't even remember. Anyway, as usual with uh, the game, always explore every nook and cranny you can. You'll find a lot of stuff that way. And, uh... Yeah, there's not many enemies to really be careful of here. The squids are easy enough, as are the, uh, freaking aliens. The only one that you have to really be careful of is the robot duck things that'll somehow, sometimes, uh, come in from the left or right, depending on which direction you're going. Because they can blindside you and also get in your, just in your way of progression. By the way, uh, I'm gonna be getting it later on, but there is a 10,000 gem in that window of the planet right there. So, uh, get that right now if you can. And that one just committed suicide. <laughs> A bunch of health here if you need it. And Webby! Hello there. And the keys inside the... There's a key that we need to get beyond that door, because that's where Gizmo's... Control unit is, but we need a key first, so we have to go find that in the ship. I believe all these items are there, even if you don't talk to the necessary person that tells you to go get it. So you can just go over it and get them first. Anyway, over here is actually the second of the two secret treasures, uh, the first one being in the African mines. What is it? I think it's a. <laughs> I love how I cut the jingle short there, by the way. Uh. I think it's some sort of computer chip, maybe it's the ones that runs the duck robots, I'm not sure. Duck me, I don't know if it would be, if it is, I, I question why I'm not ripping apart these robots to get all their millions of dollars within. Actually, you know what? Next time I play the game, I should actually try that little thing I was just saying, going in the order without talking to the people. Eh. Also, be careful here because, uh, th for some reason, the robot ducks tend to get stuck in various locations here. You okay there, dude? You are? Okay. Get out of my way. And we're gonna want to knock this thing over to the wall because we can go yet again above the ceiling. There's actually a couple things we can get over here. 50,000, a 10,000, and a whole health restore. 
so that's fine and dandy. A anyway, the key that we need to open that door is actually in a chest over here to the left. However, one thing I'm going to say right now. We will not be able to hit 10 million unless we actually talk to Launchpad, who is thankfully on the very right of this room. So, unless you're going for the bad or normal endings, you're gonna want to do that. Although, feasibly, you could just talk to Launchpad in any level he's in and just do it the levels over and over again. But, uh, I'm not doing that. I just did it in the levels where I know I can get the most money. You know what? I actually haven't told you guys how you get the, be uh, the no money ending, have I? Huh. I'll tell you guys after this. So, enjoy the theme of the moon. Isn't that track amazing? Anyway, as for how you get the bad ending, well, first off, here's Gizmo's uh, control unit. Uh, you get the bad ending, uh, the one thing I haven't told you guys is that if you press select and you have three million dollars, you'll actually get a full heal. So, if you have around, I think you have to have an even three million to do it, though. You can't have any less. Uh, if you can make it so that you constantly have no money by doing that, you can actually make it so that you can get no money and get the bad ending, which is harder to get than the normal and e and best endings. Anyway, we got Gizmo's control units, now we're actually going to head back to, uh, that little green wall that was there earlier. And that's Gizmo Duck. I forget what he was like in the show. He was in the show, right? Yeah, he was, actually. He was like this weird superhero guy. Also, these guys, back in part one, if I recall correctly, I accidentally called them the Rowdy Rough Boys. I was wrong about that. The Rowdy Rough Boys are from Powerpuff Girls. I don't know why that came to mind. They're the Beagle Boys. Sorry about that, if any of you guys noticed that and were complaining. <laughs> why did I confuse them with the Rowdy Rough Boys? Those guys, that's, that was weird of me to do. <laughs> anyway, here's the boss of the moon. A weird mutated rat. I don't get this. This is actually one of the hardest bosses in the game, if not the hardest, because he is fast, and he loves to jump all over the place. He's easily the most unpredictable boss. He still only takes five hits, but with how fast he is and how weird his jumps are when he launches off you, he can be really tough to dodge. But luckily in the end, all triumphs. Ooh, sweet, even one, one, uh, one million four hundred thousand. And with that, we have over ten million dollars! Uh, uh, completely guaranteeing us the best ending, and hey, where are my treasures going? What? Oh. If you're wondering who was saying that, that was Flint Hart, uh, Glomgold, I think is how you pronounce his last name? Flint Hart is another very rich duck like Scrooge, except unlike Scrooge, he has no redeeming factors, no love for his family, nothing, just an evil mother trucker. Who, lo who loves money. And wants to get Scrooges more often than not. He's also Irish compared to S Scrooge's Scottish, I believe. He was ac he's actually one of the guys that more often than not heal uh, healed. Hired the Beagle Boys in order to do bad things. It's the only really way you can describe a Disney villain. Doing bad things. Hmm. Disney evil. Anyway, final boss is, and I'm not joking... Dracula Duck. What is a duck? A worthless little pile of feathers! But enough talk! Have at you! Seriously, why couldn't they have named him Duckula or Quackula? That would have been so much better. Go for the puns, Disney. Go for the puns. Anyway, Dracula Duck is rather easy for a final boss. He's gonna send a bat at you and then you can just bounce off of it and onto his head. Really easy. He doesn't even get his own unique boss theme, he just gets the normal one. Mind you, a lot of NES games did that, but still, it's, it's 
kind of irksome compared to later games. And it's Flintheart! Re riding Magicka Dispel with an altered color palette, because NES limitations. Anyway, here, just climb up the rope and don't miss it, and you should do good. Just touch the chest up here at the top and you win. You just beat DuckTales! And we got the best ending, and that is a lot of gold, but you're not bathing in it. You're doing it wrong, Scrooge. <laughs> Uh, like I said back in part one, the endings are, if you have no money, five million dollars, or ten million. And, not only do we find the legendary treasures from the stages, we also found the two, two lost ones, and got the overall best ending. And Huey, Dewey, and Louie are about to say that, that they're, they're glad we found the treasures, but don't forget that they helped too. Although I don't think Louie helped at all, I think that's who the blue one is. I never remember which one's which. And of course, Scrooge being his ever-lovable uncle self goes, Right, lads, I couldn't have done it without you. I really am the richest duck in the world. Fittingly enough that this game was made by Capcom, because I just turned Scrooge McDuck into Mr. Match. <laughs> but, yeah, that was DuckTales. Overall, I think it's actually a really enjoyable game. There's also a Game Boy port, but I hear that's pretty crap in comparison to the NES version. A uh, really fun game, great music, looks pretty good for NES standards, too. Uh, the only real complaint about it is that it's really short, it's even shorter than the original Mega Man, which, considering I can beat that in under 45 minutes, that's kinda sad. But overall, I think it's worth the play, I have it, if you have it. I'm not sure if you got any virtual console releases, but if it did, I recommend you pick it up. Very decent, and it still pretty fun to stay. And also, check out the cartoon, because that show has aged very well over the past decade or so. Well, probably closer to two decades now, actually. Oh, God. But with that, I'm going to need to end this Let's Play off here. Thank you guys for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you guys... Uh, what Disney game do I want to do next? Probably DuckTales too, just so I can get that done with. So, uh, yeah. See you guys then.